Welcome to the Plato Lounge, where we just chill. Ah, this is just like old times. I'm gonna wander around for a bit. Castle hasn't changed much. Nothing can ever really be the same. Not after what happened. Edgar, so dad didn't make it. Edgar, there you are. Your father just said he wouldn't trust Figaro to the two of you. Those were his final words. You all make me sick. Everyone's saying that the Empire had dad poisoned. And the only thing any of you think about is who will be the next king. No one's even sad. None of you probably cared when mom died after we were born, either. That's... that's not... You're just as bad as the rest of them. Saban. Empire of murderers! They won't get away with this! Priestess. Leave us. Let's leave this place. Let's forget this crazy kingdom and live our lives how we want to. You said you didn't want to be a king, right? A life of freedom, huh? What do you think would happen to figure out if both of us left? There'd be no one to take the throne. Dad was counting on us to take care of the kingdom. Sabin, let's settle this with the toss of a coin. Dad gave me this one. If it's heads, you win. Tails, I win. The winner chooses whatever path he wants. No regrets, no hard feelings, okay? Here we go! And you chose your freedom. It's already been 10 years. That little shrimp has grown into a whopping lobster. And you're a king crab. Sabin, do you think Dad would be proud of me? Don't you ever doubt that. I'm sure he's beaming with pride wherever he is. Ten years. Where has the time gone? Here's to a couple of confused grown-ups. Drink! Here's to Dad! To mom and to Figaro.
I... I couldn't protect her. Locke, what are we off to find today? It's almost your... There's supposed to be an amazing treasure hidden somewhere in this mountain. We're gonna find it. Locke, look out! Rachel! Rachel, are you awake? I... I can't remember anything. Get out of my house! It's your fault Rachel lost her memory! Wait, just let me talk to her! Please, just go away! I don't know who you are, but my parents get upset whenever you come here! Rachel wouldn't be better off without you hanging around, Locke. She's going to have to make a new start of it. With you here, she can't even do that. A year went by. When I finally returned, I found out that Rachel had been killed in an, an Imperial attack. Her memory had returned just before she died. The last thing she said was, my name. I never should have left her side. I, I, I felt her. Oh, Locke, it's been a while. Ages, even. Oh, that's worry not, worry not. Your treasure's quite safe. <laughs> It's a good thing I happened to perfect my herbal concoction right when she... The girl hasn't aged a day, and never will. <laughs> Had to use my herbs, I did. Couldn't very well refuse with you begging me like that. Rachel. You're sure this stuff will work? Of course, of course. The love of your life will sleep here just like this forever. And ever... And ever! <laughs> if there were a way to call her spirit back. A way to call her back, eh? You mean like that legendary treasure? <laughs> oh yes, I suppose if you had that, you might be able to reawaken her. <laughs> I... I felt her. Luck. Zozo, never heard of it. Great people here, you can trust everything they say. A girl? Nope, I haven't seen any girls lately. And there's definitely not one on the top floor of this building, so don't bother checking. What brings you up here on this fine day? Do you need to get through here? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be in the way. I'm not very strong in a fight and I don't hate for there to be any trouble, so why don't I just let you pass? You lie!
<laughs> they run away as soon as he dies. So much for your backup. Girl is your friend, I presume. Tara, is she all right? So, her name is Tara. Tara, interesting. Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had, and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, I am Rama, the Esper Rama. You're an Esper? Don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this one. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you without fear of anyone discovering the truth. Why hide the fact you're an Esper? Humans and Espers are incompatible creatures. But my grandma told me that humans and Espers once lived side by side. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. No, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and Espers used to live together in harmony, at least until the War of the Magi. The War of the Magi? It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other Espers. After that meaningless war had ended, the Espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. They feared that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. But then one day, about 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm, humans who knew of espers and their secret powers, and thus began the hunt, for Gestal, the leader of the men, knew that he could use the powers extracted as from us to create an invincible army. As soon as we realized that was happening, we erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. Those who were captured are still held in the Empire's Magitech research facility, being drained for their powers. I narrowly escaped that same fate, and now I am here with you. She seems to have calmed down a little. I called Atera here to me when I sensed that she'd lose control. She responded to that call. So Tara's an Esper? No, she's a bit different from us. She looks like she's in pain. She's afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. What can we do to help her? When she understands her true nature, the fear and doubts should subside. Is there nothing we can do? The others of my kind who are trapped in Gestalt's Magitech research facility may be able to help her. And if we can get inside that facility, you're sure we'll find them. The Magitech research facility? Your people are in there? I escaped alone. 
abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward. But I fear I can remain here no longer. What do you mean? Gestal's methods are mistaken. He knows only to drain an Esper's power by force, but that's not the way to unlock our potential. Only when we become Magicite can our strength be transferred in full. What are you saying? I'm going to turn myself into Magicite so I can lend you my strength. Magicite? Magicite is an Esper's power in its purest form. When an Esper dies, Magicite is all that's left behind. But... These are my companions who fell as we fled the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. You're really gone, aren't you? He turned himself to Magicite. He gave up his life to help us. Why would he do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop the Empire. There must not be a second war of Magi. Tara, wait for us. We'll be back for you. So, the Empire's been draining magic from Esper's. Celis, was all of that true? I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure. But I've heard rumors to that effect. I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. We'd best split up again. We still need to beef up our defenses in Marsh. That would indeed be wise. I'll go to the Empire. I know it inside and out. But alone? Don't worry, I'll go with her. Lock! Might I advise going in greater numbers? Wait for us back in Narsh. Don't worry, we'll be fine. So, how are we going to get there? The Empire's on the southern continent, but they've closed all the harbors and no ships are permitted to leave port. The town of Jador to the south is full of wealthy aristocrats. One of them might know a way in, where there's a gill. Locke. Yeah. Why are you coming with me? Hmm. Well, there's a rumor about a legendary treasure hidden in Imperial territory and all. I thought I might have a look around. 